Martin. Over the last few decades, us Brits have developed a serious love affair with bottled water. Three billion litres of the stuff is sold every year, but instead of buying a new bottle every time, plenty of us will just fill up the old one from the tap. But whether you're putting one in your work bag, school bag, or like me, your sports bag, some very alarming headlines say that us committed refillers could be playing fast and loose with our health, because some water bottles could apparently be dirtier than our toilet seats. I've been playing wheelchair rugby for more than a decade, and my trusty water bottle comes with me wherever I go. If we drop the ball, if we don't beat ourselves up, we can play and hit our wheels to get us nowhere. For the team I coach, their water bottles are as much a part of their kit as their gloves and their shirts. But I, for one, don't wash my water bottle every time I wash my strip. Right, so, who, like me, refills their water bottles? Andy? Yeah, I've had mine a couple of weeks. Yeah, you refill your water bottles? Tim? I refill. David? Yes. I refill. Omar? Yes. Harry? I don't, mate. No, you don't. I get a new bottle every time, yeah. But according to some of the papers, those of us who don't wash our water bottles could risk suffering a nasty bout of food poisoning. How your plastic water bottle could be harbouring more germs than a dog bowl. Oh, the amount of times I get <laughs> licked and uh, him picking up my bottle for me. You and your dog share the germs. It's probably, we've probably got the same amount of germs. <laughs> it's the same germs. Yeah, beautiful. Tim's possibly the worst offender here. He says he's not washed his bottle for around a month. And worse still, his helper dog regularly picks it up in his mouth. So not only do I lick the end of it, but it does get the dog's saliva on it as well. And, and your bottle has ultimately been on the floor in the process yes. as well. OK, so that sounds disgusting, but does it mean Tim's water bottle is harbouring any more dangerous bacteria than the rest of the teams? Well, to find out if there's any truth to those scare stories, we're going to run some tests. Guys, what I'd like to do is send our water bottles off for analysis and see if they really are as dirty as dog bowls. I'm bagging up the bottles and taking them away. Omar, Harry and Ben's are all brand new. But the rest of us refill our bottles without washing them. I can't wait to see what the test maker this lot, especially Tim's. I'm taking these sealed bags to London Metropolitan University for testing by microbiologist Dr Paul Martuele. He'll be checking the levels of bacteria lurking inside and around the tops of the bottles. Paul, thank you very much for inviting me down this afternoon. I've brought my own bottle along with all my teammates' bottles. What are you expecting to find? I'm expecting to find some microorganisms that you get from the gut. There could be a cocktail of bacteria lurking inside some of these bottles, and they might cause anything from a dicky tummy to serious abdominal pains, and even worse. I had never imagined I might pick up something like that from my water bottle. One of my teammates, and I'll leave you to find out which one, has got a helper dog. And when he drops his bottle, his dog picks the bottle up for him and passes it back to him. Oh, my goodness. In that case, we would expect to see... We all have bacteria, but the, the animals also have their own bacteria. So that's what I'm expecting to see, loads of dog bacteria <laughs> <laughs> oh. that you find in the, in, in, the, in the mouth of the dog. Of course, as well as bacteria that could lead to a bad bout of gastroenteritis, Dr Martuele's test might uncover some not-so-nasty bugs too. What about those wife's tales around, well, a few germs don't hurt you and all that kind of thing? Surely that would be the same for the bottles? In theory, it's quite a good thing to be exposed, for the body to be exposed to bacteria because it builds up your immune system. But there is a critical number, and if it goes beyond that critical number, then probably we need to worry because the immune system can cope with that. So to put that into context, my water bottle could be sitting in my car for two days, three days. I could fill it up and there wouldn't be a problem. But if I went back to that maybe five days or six days later, then the bacteria is built up to a point where it does cause an issue. Absolutely. Well, I think I look forward to finding out, but I'm not sure, Doctor. Thank you very much, and I will see you in a couple of weeks. After that conversation, I dread to think what Dr Martawelle might find. 
But while I leave him to run those tests, there's a whole raft of other news stories suggesting an even more serious health threat. Some have even claimed that drinking from plastic bottles can cause cancer. I'm going to try something here. I'm going to type in water bottle cancer and let's see what comes up. Plastic bottles and food containers, cancer, cancer, water bottles, the plastic plague, exposure to chemicals in plastic, there's loads. These online stories all relate to the plastic that some water bottles are made from, which contain chemicals known as BPAs. It's been suggested that if these bottles are used over and over again, the BPAs can dangerously contaminate the water. Now, these sort of headlines will be getting a lot of attention on social media, shares and, and comments. And while it's never wise to believe everything you read online, some of these stories come from reputable publications, so there's no wonder the message is getting through to some people. I've read that if you use water bottles too much over again, they give you cancer. I did believe the stories about cancer and water bottles, but I can't remember why, and I'm still not clear today. But are any of these scare stories actually true? In fact, according to Cancer Research UK, they're almost entirely unfounded and started from a string of hoax emails and social media posts designed to make it look like they're backed up by scientific evidence. There have been lots of hoaxes about um, plastic bottles, um, specifically things like um, leaving them in a car or freezing them or reusing plastic bottles and whether that could increase a person's risk of cancer. So it might be that people have received that email themselves or have heard um, about these hoaxes from their friends or family um, and it can be really hard to work out what's true and what's not. So often they try and claim that they're from reputable institutions or universities but those universities have um, released statements saying that the emails were not from them, they don't support them and that the research really isn't there to back up those claims. Fiona says that whilst there is a slight risk that BPAs might leak into the water, it's only been found to happen under extreme circumstances. Lots of the tests that have been uh, done looking at plastic bottles um, have used things like very high temperatures or storing things for a very long period of time. And day to day, that's not something that um, a plastic bottle that someone's drinking from is likely to be exposed to. And it's also important to remember that even in those cases, the vast majority of that evidence isn't showing that the levels of chemicals like BPA coming from the plastic bottle into the water itself um, is above a level that scientists consider um, harmful. So, despite those reports online and in the papers, my water bottle isn't going to give me cancer. But I still wonder if it could make me ill in other ways. It's been two weeks since I took the team's bottles to Dr Martuele for testing, and he's come down to our practice session to deliver the results. This is going to be a moment of truth, so... Lads, are you ready? OK, so, Omar, Harry and Ben, OK, cleanest bottles in the team. No surprise there, those three all bought new bottles on the day they were tested. Third place was Andy. Second was joint between myself and you, Dave. Interestingly, the six-day-old bottles belonging to Andy and I had no more bacteria than Dave's two-day-old bottle they were all still perfectly safe to drink from. And dirtiest of all, Tim, was yours, pal. Shocking. Tim's water bottle hadn't been cleaned for a month. And remember, his helper dog often picks it up when Tim drops it. Those things make it a breeding ground for bacteria. Well, so, Doctor, what, what was that? All the other bottles had bacteria. But Tim also had mould inside the bottle. inside yeah. the bottle. Yes, whereas everyone else's had bacteria. It might sound bad, but the mould in Tim's bottle was actually the same kind that grows on blue cheese, so pretty harmless. And despite his bottle having the highest number of bacteria too, Dr Martawale says that unless Tim's been ill, there's not really a problem. In terms of infection, I don't think it's something to be worried about but it's a sign that something has got to be done to clean up the bottle slightly more regularly than is the case at the moment. The fact his bottle hasn't made him ill yet doesn't mean it won't if he doesn't wash it soon, because the tests also found low levels of other more serious strains of bacteria. The other bacteria which were at lower levels, if they are allowed to climb up, 
those are the ones that we would worry about because they are pathogenic. If it's left to fester, this pathogenic bacteria could cause some serious health problems. So if a dirty water bottle can make you ill, was any of our water bottles at the sort of level that you're starting to worry about that with? All the bottles that I looked at, um, at this moment in time, there's nothing to worry about, so it, it looked fine, and they're not, they're not pathogenic. So it would seem, really, that we need to treat our water bottles the same way as we treat the rest of our kit, in terms of, after training, we wash it thoroughly, we make sure that it's stored properly, and we make sure we look after it the way it deserves to be looked after. Exactly. That's the message that we seem to get from these findings.